right, our big focus, and this is an India Today exclusive. One of China's deadliest submarines, the Yon class 335 equipped with torpedoes and anti ship missiles, entered the Arabian Sea last month. It crept past Indian waters and docked in Karachi for a week. Beijing's first deployment of a submarine to Pakistan signals a new power tussle in the region and has sent alarm bells ringing in New Delhi. Sandeep Unithan reports. The Indian Navy had a big alert last month when China's deadliest attack submarine crept past Indian waters and docked in Karachi. India Today has exclusive and specific details of how the Indian Navy tracked the snooping Chinese Yuan-class submarine. Identified as 335 as it made its way to Pakistan on what was China's first such deployment. On May 22nd, Less than a week after Prime Minister Narendra Modi wrapped up his state visit to Beijing, the Chinese submarine pulled into Karachi port. Government sources have confirmed to India today that submarine 335 and its 65-man crew spent a week in Karachi, refueling and restocking before setting sail again. I think the primary intention of the submarines which do not have a which cannot control the seas is to snoop. I presume Chinese submarines have been coming there and I think Karachi, uh, being a Pakistani port, affords them that uh, base port facilities which Chinese would be looking for. And China, Pakistan have very close uh, linkages. And I think that could be one of the reasons that Chinese submarines are moving into Indian Ocean region, getting familiar with this particular part of the ocean. The Yuan class submarine 335, equipped with torpedoes, anti ship missiles, and an air independent propulsion that dramatically enhances its underwater endurance, set sail from its base in Hainan Island in the South China Sea on March 31st this year. Advanced naval submarine of the Chinese People Liberation Army Navy submarine in this water is not a very good sign. India had objected to Chinese submarines docking at Sri Lanka, at Sri Lankan ports and harbors, and that is something that Sri Lanka has also said will not happen again. But the presence of these submarines are not very good and needs to be countered, say sources here in Naval Headquarters. With cameraman Shakil Ahmed and with Shivaroor in Delhi, Gaurav Savant for India Today. What does the presence of a deadly Chinese submarine near Indian waters mean for India? Let's take that question to our panel of guests this evening. Commodore retired G.J. Singh, defense expert, is with us live. Also with us, our deputy editor, Shivaru. Shiva, I want to come to you first. What does this mean for India? Well, it's, a, it's an alarming sign, uh, uh, Simi, because uh, literally speaking, what, the, what China has demonstrated here uh, is a... Uh, the ability to deploy at long range a conventional submarine, uh, you know, d not just far away from its home base, but all the way past Indian waters into the Arabian Sea, which is definitely India's, uh, you know, area of responsibility, its sphere of influence as far as the Indian Navy is concerned, uh, and docking in Pakistan, which it considers one of its closest allies in South Asia. Uh, the, the, the implications of uh, this are that uh, it amplifies a India's own submarine uh, crisis. We've got very few submarines that are active at this point of time, so it's a crisis that gets accentuated by this. B, it takes the intrigue factor sky high already, see me. A submarine like the Yuan class, this particular one in those pictures, the 335, which managed to sneak past uh, you know, Indian waters, uh, entering Pakistani waters and docking uh, in Karachi secretly, because none of this is official. We've been able to access uh, information through our sources in the Indian Navy, uh, is, is something that has concerned the high highest levels of the Navy and the security establishment because it means that China's you know sort of legendary sea legs it's the aggressiveness with which it's trying to deploy its maritime forces far away from uh, its home bases is, is proving to be very successful and like we've been reporting here on India today these are not surface ships this is not military diplomacy submarines are always and constantly at war and they, and they are uh, they are required and they are deployed always as offensive platforms to snoop to gather intelligence and test the defenses of adversary nations and there is no reason to believe that this submarine was not doing precisely that see me and commodore gj singh i'd like to come to you here this is this is the beijing's first ever deployment of a submarine to pakistan sources say and experts also say this signals a new power tussle in the region 
Also important to note at this stage that China will be selling some eight Yon class submarines to Pakistan. How do you see these developments? Yes, first of all, let me tell you and make it clear that this is not the first time that their nuclear powered attack submarine has come into this region for patrolling. In 2013, on 13th of December, we had a nuclear submarine, attack submarine, patrolling in this area, especially they came on the pretext they are coming on the anti-piracy patrol in Aden. They were operating here for a period of two months. They were here till 12th of February 2014. And not only that, at that time, the uh, Chinese uh, did a very smart thing. They informed five countries that they are going to operate in this area. That included India, Pakistan, Indonesia, Singapore, and United States. Just to demonstrate some kind of respect, they told our military attache in Beijing a day before they sailed out from the Hanan uh, airport, uh, 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 air, uh, this uh, purport. And it is suspected that at that time they had, with their SSN uh, nuclear submarines, they had some problems with their nuclear reactors on board. But over this but, you know, Commodore Jijay Singh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I want to ask you, do you actually buy into that explanation of China saying it's using the submarines to tackle piracy? No, I don't buy this. This is, this is what I said. It was a pretext. But they were basically operating here. They were probably trying to have, give the power projection to the uh, rim countries of the Indian Ocean. A kind of a persuasion to them that, look, we are here and we are a sea power to reckon with. Uh, I don't buy that what you said. This is only a pretext because they are also smart. They informed these countries, especially India, Pakistan, Singapore, Indonesia, because they had this problem with their nuclear reactor on board. And in the event of any problem, they could take refuge in these uh, you know, uh, countries to whom they have informed. But now it seems they have they are glitch free. They have got over this problem and now they are uh, with more confidence they are coming into the Indian right. Ocean into especially Arabian Sea Absolutely. and going to Pakistan and snooping over the Indian coastline. Absolutely. So this, this is, this is, this is, this is, cause, this is cause of worry for concern. India. In fact, some reports also say that Pakistan has the fastest growing nuclear program in the world. Let's also get in a word from Shivaroor who's with us live. Shiv, uh, China clearly warming up to Pakistan in more ways than one. These aren't really isolated incidents if we put them all together, considering China blocking India's effort to act against Pakistan over Lakhvi's release. Absolutely. Uh, you know, none of these, uh, you know, separate and disparate uh, events and incidents is in any way disconnected. You're, you're bang on when you, uh, you know, try to link all of these up because the bigger picture is far more intimidating, uh, you know, than the individual elements of it, see me. So in that sense, what we're seeing happen here, and I completely agree with Commodore, uh, Commodore Singh when he says that it is an effort to try and circle India, to try and cut India off in its, uh, you know, uh, area of responsibility, uh, ramp up the level of intrigue, uh, the, the level of uh, you know uh, sort of cooperation between China and Pakistan, which has been you know which has been increasing exponentially over the years. The nuclear factor, as you rightly very crucially uh, touched upon, Simi, is also very important in this particular uh, area. But the fact here is, I mean, speaking very specifically about this incident, the reason why it's so alarming, because a, a lot of people may not may not completely appreciate why it's so alarming. General G.J. Singh, ha having been in the Navy, appreciates why this is so important. Remember. Submarines, by their very nature, uh, you know, are built to be undetectable. Right. Uh, there is a level of deniability in terms of submarine operations, which is why a submarine right. can cause damage, and the country that deploys that submarine can easily simply deny having ever inflicted that damage. That's Absolutely. the very nature of submarine operations, and that's why this incident is really so alarming. Absolutely, it sent alarm bells ringing no, I, in New Delhi. What does I, this mean for I, India, China ties? We'll continue tracking developments. Thanks so much, Commodore Singh, for taking our time and joining us uh, in our studios this evening. Thanks so much, Shiv.